Hi, let's look at certain example problems in this concept. So here's the first question. Here is a figure that is given to us. We have to find out the values of X and Y and then prove that AB is parallel to CD. We do not yet know that AB is parallel to CD, but we have to prove that they are parallel. First of all, let's go about finding the values of X and Y. Now I see that in this figure, there are two lines AB and CD. There's another line, this one, which is a transversal, but there are no labels on this line. So first of all, my job is to label this line. Let me label this as P, Q, R, and let this point be S. So now since I've labeled all these points, it'll be easier for me to understand what angles are there and then name them. So first of all, let's look at how do we go about finding the value of X. If we look at this line PS and this ray QA, then we see that angle P, Q, A and angle A, Q, S, they form a linear pair of angles. So that means angle P, Q, A plus angle A, Q, S. This angle plus this angle right here, they form a linear pair of angles, hence they are supplementary. Right? I know the value of angle PQA. What is it? It's 50 degrees. And this one is given as X is equal to 180 degrees. So from here, I would get X equal to 180 degrees minus 50 degrees, which is nothing but 130 degrees. So here, the value of X I have found out is 130 degrees. Great. How do I go about finding the value of Y? We see that PS, this line PS intersects DC. Does it not? It intersects DC at this point R, R here. So I see that angle P R C is equal to angle D R S. This angle right here is equal to this angle. And why is that? Because these two angles are vertically opposite angles. And vertically opposite angles are always equal. So I have angle P R C, which is nothing but Y is equal to angle DRS, which is nothing but 130 degrees. So the value of Y is also 130 degrees. So here I have Y equal to 130 degrees. Great. Now coming to the last part of the question and the most important one, it says show that AB is parallel to CD. How do you prove that two lines are parallel? We've seen that when two lines are parallel, the corresponding angles are equal or the alternate interior angles are equal, right? But what do we do when we have to prove that the two lines are parallel? So if we have the corresponding angles equal, then we can say that the two lines are parallel. Or if we have the alternate interior angles as equal, then we can say that the two lines are parallel. So in this figure, we have everything true. That means if you look at A, B and C, D, these two lines and P, S as the transversal, then I can say angle A, Q, S and angle D, R, S are corresponding angles. This angle right here, AQS, and this angle right here, DRS, are corresponding angles. Great. And I can also see that both these are equal to 130 degrees. So I can say that angle AQS is equal to angle DRS. 
equal to 130 degrees. Both of them measure 130 degrees. Hence, they are equal to each other. And when two corresponding angles are equal to each other, I can say that AB is parallel to CD. So that's how you prove two lines to be parallel. Show that the corresponding angles are equal. Another way could have been, I could have said that this angle right here, X, and this angle here, Y, they are alternate interior angles. And I see that both of them are equal to 130 degrees. And when alternate interior angles are equal, the lines are parallel. There could be a lot of ways of doing it. You can choose your own way of how to prove it. Let's look at another example quickly. So here's the question. It says that in this figure, if PQ is parallel to ST, that means this line PQ is parallel to this line ST. Also, we are given that PQR, this angle is 110 degrees. Also, this angle RST here is 130 degrees. We are supposed to find out the value of angle QRS, which is this particular angle in the center, angle QRS. Now, right now, looking at this figure, I am unable to figure out what could be done in order to find out the value of this particular angle right here. So, we'll have to look at a certain construction which would help us in finding the value of this particular angle. Now, there could be multiple ways of doing a construction. What I'm going to do here is just draw a line passing through this point R and parallel to PQ. I am drawing a line parallel to PQ and passing through this point R. Let's say this is the line. It passes through this point R. Let me call this MN. So I've done a construction which is draw a line MRN parallel to PQ. Now here, if you look at this, we have PQ parallel to MN. We also know that ST is parallel to PQ. And we saw that when two lines are parallel to the same line, like in this case, MN is parallel to PQ. Also, ST is parallel to PQ. So two lines MN and ST are parallel to the same line PQ. Then these two lines are parallel to each other. That would just mean ST is parallel to MN as well. So we have MN parallel to ST, also MN parallel to PQ. Now this question is fairly simple for us. In order to find out the value of angle QRS, we'll find out the value of this particular angle, also this particular angle, and then when we add, let's call this angle 1, angle 2, when we add angle 1, angle 2, and this angle, angle QRS, I should get a 180 degree because this is a line MN. Now, how do I find out the value of angle 1 or angle MRQ? So, angle MRQ, Q plus angle PQR is equal to 180 degrees. Can you tell me why? Because these are interior angles on the same side of the transversal. And we know that interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. Hence, MRQ plus angle PQR is 180 degrees. And if I replace the values, I would have angle 1 plus PQR would be 110 degrees as is given to us equal to 180 degrees. And from here, I would get angle 1 equal to 180 degrees minus 110 degrees. And this subtraction would give me 70 degrees. So here, angle 1 is nothing but 70 degrees. Now similarly, we can find out the value of angle 2. So we have angle N R S plus angle T S R equal to 180 degrees because of this same reason. They are interior angles on the same side of the transversal. 
you would have to mention that when you are writing your papers or your test copies so these two are supplementary that would just mean angle 2 plus 130 degrees because TSR is 130 degrees is equal to 180 degrees hence I would have angle 2 as 180 degrees minus 130 degrees this is nothing but 50 degrees so here I've got the value of angle 2 as 50 degrees now when we look carefully at the lower half of this figure let's say this one let me just draw it out here so I have this line MN there is a point point R somewhere here then I have one ray here another ray here this is point Q this is point S right I have to find out the value of this particular angle QRS now I know that this angle is 70 degrees also this angle right here is 50 degrees so just to find out the value of angle QRS we can write the condition that angle QRM plus angle QRS plus angle SRN equal to 180 degrees this is because these three together form a line MN is a line now I will just replace the values of the angles that I know let me call angle QRS as X then I would have 70 degrees plus X plus 50 degrees equal to 180 degrees right when I add 70 and 50 I would have 120 degrees plus X is equal to 180 degrees and from here I would get X equal to 180 degrees minus 120 degrees or 60 degrees so finally I have the value of angle Q or S as 60 degrees here so this angle right here measures 60 degrees so that's about finding the value of angle Q or S I hope you enjoyed it keep practicing and you'll be really good at it Happy learning. Bye.